the working week would be two days and you get a five day weekend. Get rid of politicians. Everyone speaks the same language. Bad drivers on the road. Get rid of tax. Take away taxes. Get rid of taxes. More Sundays, less Mondays. Time travel for all. I would be able to be invisible. <laughs> and world peace, I suppose. Make it a peaceful world. I would erase the enormous disparity between rich and poor. I'd love to see how some of my teammates would go without technology. I would eliminate all social media and the media had to tell the truth. Pollution. Greenhouse emission. I would try and eradicate hunger and homelessness. Well, it'd be nice to see everyone get a feed, wouldn't it? So, get rid of poverty. No more sick kids. Nurses get paid a lot more. Tired gun laws. Poverty. Banned smoking. The drug culture in young people. we we'll probably make Australia closer if that's possible to the rest of the world. Move Sweden closer to Australia. I would make it a criminal offence that people have to acknowledge when you let them through when you're driving in their car. Public holiday for your birthday. More public holidays. Three day weekends. The ozone layer. So I can go outside without getting burnt. No parking fines. Probably the most important thing I'd change is I have more red roosters. I've got a few. And that have one. Uh, Oh, well, I'd take away that stupid sub rule and that I could have two Ruckman and Hamish McIntosh would still be here, which would be nice. I'd be best mate back. I'd scrap the sub rule. Substitute rule. Get rid of the sub. I'd get rid of the sub rule. The sub rule. You change back the, the sub rule. A sub rule. Sub rule. I would uh, have four on the bench. Cheerleaders before the game. Cheerleaders. For music in between goals. Better on field entertainment. I'd change Eddie Head Stadium. I'd just pick it up and put it around the right way so the sun wouldn't get in your eyes. There's interchange rule, uh, back to four interchange in the sub. More interchange plays. Leave the interchange rotations as they are. Bring the bump back. Uh, I want to be able to chop the arms. I reckon they should buy Etihad Stadium. I would be the first player coach to ever play AFL. More cash for all the players. I would extend the salary cap. Increasing player payments. Probably shorten the season just so we played everyone once. I'd reduce the number of games. Probably less games in the season. The length of the off-season. Freedom of speech. Not so biased to uh, Victorians. I'd bring back the state of origin. No tagging. Uh, tribunal, just make it a bit more consistent. Make it international. Bring Red Rooster in as a major sponsor. I'd get rid of the rules committee. Stop changing the rules. Less rule changes. No rule changing. Leave the rules alone. No more rule changes. Less rule changes. No rule changes for at least 10 years. Oh, Barack Obama's a, a, probably a big one. He's just got the, the swagger about him and you know, he can talk the talk, so um, oh, anyone that talks like that, I guess you, you're kind of drawn to. I think there's, there's so many good ones that you think of. I mean, Obama's done so much uh, as the president of the US, but um, we'll stick with him. I'll oh, say so Barack Obama read a few of his books. Uh, Johnny Howard, I thought he was a good leader. Barack Obama's done some, some great things. Um, I think uh, anybody that, that challenges people thinking, um, even Julie Gillard being the first female Prime Minister, I think mean, it's a um, big effort. Julia Gillard. Julia Gillard. And Martin Luther King. JFK. JFK. Peter Cosgrove, the um, people who serve our country overseas. Yeah. Dick Winters, who was a, um, a war hero, American war hero. I always enjoyed Ricky Ponting when he was captain of the cricket team. Having young kids and, and currently teaching them how to swim. Um, I've been doing a bit of research on Laurie Lawrence and some of the stuff that he's done uh, through his career, so um, I think I respect uh, what he's been able to do. Someone like Tom Brady. Tom Brady. And Nick Rewalt. I actually admired Muhammad Ali for the way he stood up for himself and his community. Muhammad Ali. It's Alex Ferguson. So Alex Ferguson. Well, Steve Wall was a pretty strong leader. I think Paddy Rafter, as a guy that does so much outside of his sport. I love the way he goes about it. John Singleton. Richard Branson. Kerry Packer. Frank Costa. Bit soppy, but I'll, uh, I'll say my dad. My dad? I'll lie my dad and the work he does. My father. And Mother Teresa and, and people like that. The Dalai Lama. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. 